Welcome to the third part of my Bash tutorial videos. So this video will be about conditionals, if, then, else, if, and else. Having opened my preferred text editor, which in this case is gedit, the first thing I'll be showing you is how to do a basic menu. And we're going to ask the user, what would you like to do today? Give them a couple of choices, have a beer or go to work. Gotta be the beer option really, isn't it? Read the input from the keyboard and we just put a blank line underneath. Now if then and else is not necessarily the most efficient way of doing a menu. You're probably better off using select, but for the purpose of this video it will do. So if space two square brackets space referring to the variable dollar idea space equals equals one space two square brackets. The number of spaces and type of brackets and number of brackets is very important in the bash conditional if statements. And then you also have a semicolon at the end and put then. Oh, I don't know if I make it complicated here. So what do we say if that's a good choice? Ah, excellent choice. Now let's go for an else if, which is spelled E-L-I-F. Formatting is the same way here with number of brackets. So referring to the variable dollar idea equals equals space two bracket bracket semicolon then well let's see going to work is boring if the user has inputted something different then we need something for handling that so that's else and we're going to say hey what now and to finish off the if statement type in fi save it and let's run it so that's bash conditionals.sh what would you like to do today have a beer Excellent choice. Try again. Go to work. Boring. Let's put in something else. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> a what now? Indeed. A what now? The next one we'll look at is not equal. So that's if in brackets zero exclamation mark equal not equal to one. Then zero is not equal to one. And then finishing off the if statement with fi. Next one is arithmetic comparison. This one we need to use inside double parentheses, rounded brackets in other words. If, round bracket, round bracket, num1 is greater than dollar num2, rounded brackets, then num1 is greater than num2, or else num1 is less than or equal to num2 and then finishing off the if statement. 0 is not equal to 1 and 10 is greater than 5. Excellent. We can go and change it around now just to demonstrate it working. So let's change that to 1 is not equal to 1 and the two numbers the same. 10 is less than or equal to 10 and we don't have the information about 0 not being equal to 1. Here's where the tutorial starts getting a little bit complicated. So all you folks asleep in the back row, please wake up! A logical and and logical ors. So if parentheses or rounded brackets var1 ampersand ampersand of var2. Assuming that 1 means true and 0 means false. But you can't just use true and false because they mean something else. And I'm not quite sure what. It doesn't really make much sense. Then, both var1 and var2 are true, or either var1 or var2 is false. And now I've got logical or comparing two if statements. So if, square bracket, square bracket, just to be really confusing. Ah, yes, yes. You damn these brackets. var2 equals equals one. So it focusing on being an if statement here, so that would be how I would do if r2 did equal 1. And then put the or in, which is two pipes. Again, same as C or C++. Two square brackets. var3 equals equals 1, which quite clearly you can see that var3 equals 0. It is not true. Then. Oh, and just to throw in a bit of confusion, you could also do your then that way around without the semicolon. <laughs> Either statement is true or both statements are false. Let's see what happens. Both var1 and var2 are true. Yes, they are. Either statement is true. 
Yes, it is. Change it around. VAR2 now equals at zero. Either VAR1 or VAR2 is false, and both statements are false. That is correct. And for the final if statement, we can check to see if a file exists. However, this could also be expanded to a directory, file, or either file or directory. And we're going to take the input as being an input to the script from the command line. So file and name equals quote dollar one quote if single square bracket space a dash f dollar file name space square bracket then file exists or if that's not true the file does not exist so bash conditionals.sh now this time we're going to put in something else at the end here so i'm going to see if the file etsy slash f stab exists and i should damn well hope it exists so yes that file exists f stab 2 does not exist though so that was how to do the conditional if statements in bash there'll be a copy to the script in the description below thanks for watching see you later